today, Bentley and I are going to be reading you Skippy John Jones and the Cirque du Olay. Skippy John Jones was a real high wire Henry. And that made his mama as worried as a worm in a wading pool. Oh, my fleas wailed, Mama Junebug Jones. Come down from that wire before you break all your bones. He can't hear you, sang his sisters, Jujubee, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo, because Skippy's up in Squirrely World. The girls were right. The kitty boy was performing tail-tingling tricks on the telephone wire above him. That's amazing, gushed the girls. He should join the circus. Circus berserkus, groaned Mama. I'm calling the fire department. Fire department, repeated Jilly Boo. Skippy's not on fire. He's on wire. But before Junebug Jones could press a button, the kitty boy did a triple spin backflip dive right into Mama's apron pocket. That was really good for a chihuahua, said Jujubee. The word is chihuahua, said Mama frazzled, and he is not that. Skippy John Jones is a Siamese cat. Then she lugged her catch of the day back to his room for a timeout and a big talk. What do you think you were doing up there, you and those squirrels on a wire in midair? What if you tripped and fell on your head? You'd have to spend months in a hospital bed. Then as Junebug Jones potted her hives, she let the truth slip out about cats and nine lives. I wish we had nine, but we only have one. So think about that, my Siamese son. Then she closed the door. The kitty boy was thinking all right about bouncing on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones and I don't have nine lives, so what's the big deal? Hey, did I just see flies? Indeed he did, and he chased one over to his mirror, where he ate it. Holy snack eater, exclaimed the kitty boy, loved him crunchies. Then he looked into the mirror and using his very best Spanish accent, he said, if I have but one life to live, muchachos, let me live it as a chihuahua. In less time than it takes a flea to fly to Florida, Skippy John Jones put together a fine costume where he sang in a way, way soft voice, Oh, my name is Skippito Fresquito, and I'm one handsome daredevilito. I'm physically fit, every part, every bit, just right for a circus puchito. In the meantime, over in the sewing nook, Mama was attempting to have a sensible conversation with the girls. Where is Julie Boo's, Jilly Boo's tutu, asked Mama. The Chihuahua has a tutu, replied Jujubee. Whatever for, asked Mama. Because Chihuahuas wear tutus, said Jezebel. And cows wear moo-moos, added Jujubee. And boo-boos wear band-aids, continued Jezebel. <laughs> I need a nap, moaned Mama. But the Chihuahua wasn't thinking tutus, moo-moos, or boo-boos. He was thinking of flying through the air with the greatest of fleas, just like the dog on a flying trapeze. Until thump, he planted his paws in a perfecto landing on the turf outside the sick surf to Ole, shouted his amigos, lost chimichangas. Hola, hollered back Scapito Frisquito, the great acrobat Ito to his barking buddies. Hold your ponies, Pepito, declared Poquito Tito, the smallest of the small ones. Have you grown a bigote? No, I did not gr grow a mustachito, answered the gatito. It's just part of my costume. Bueno, said Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones, because we need you to grow something mucho mas importante. But what can be more important than a mustache, muchachos, asked Scapito. Las musculos, said all of the pepitos. Not the lumpitos gigantitos, declared Scipito. Oh, si, muchacho, said Poquito Tito, the muscles. Then Don Diego pulled an old circus poster out of his right ear and let it unroll. And now do you get it, dude? And the poster says, Tingling Brothers and Cirque du Ole presents the tiny, trembling tower of power. Oh, I get it all right, said Scipito. It means I'm low dog on the totem pole. This made the chihuahuas twist and shout. Oh yes, that's right, Scapito. Your cabeza is just what we need oh. And your muscles must grow just in time for the show or else we, all, we will all crumble ito. 
and then all the Peritos snuck under the skirts of the big top. First, Machacha is tippy-toed by the Cabalista, practicing on her pony. Then they slip past the peso, putting his paper-popping puppy through his paces. But it wasn't until they reached the Elefante that the Pepitas had to worry. Watch your step, amigos, warned Paquito Tito. We are but pulgless to her. We are not pleased, said Scapito. We are Chihuahuas. And that wasn't all the doggies had to watch out for. They saw leones and tigres and osos. Oh, my. But the most dangerous animal of all lay sleeping like a baby in his cage. Let's take a peek, Pupitos, said Scapito. Let's just take his traje, suggested Poquito Tito. Not his costume, declared Scapito, alarm. Por qué? Because it will look mucho majo on you, senor. Then they race like rabbits over to their dressing room. But the circus waits for no dog. So with the speed of a spitball, the Pochitos changed their Chico into a world-class circus perro con musculos. First, they gave him a vitamina. Then they pulled on his new traje. It's too big, complained the gatito. No worries, with Don Diego. We will pump you up. And pump the perros did singing, um pa pa lum pa palito. We'll give you the muscles you need -o. Because strong you must be for the triple TP, so we don't all go boom, tumbleito. Then it was a moment of truth as they floated Scapito out under the big top. Peros poured out from every point and piled on top of Scapito's grande cabeza. Up, up, up they climbed until they formed a perfecto tower of tiny, trembling chihuahuas. And beneath the tower stood the power tough and shaky as five-day-old jello, but just as the pups were about to make circus history, Putsy Strongleboot, the strong dog, strutted out into the center ring and bit the behind of his very own trejo. Olé, shouted the crowd. Oh no, cried Scapito as the tiny trembling tower of power tumbled from his head. Ta-da, blasted Labanda as Scapito flew up into the rafters like a punctured balloon. Woo-hoo, hooted the crowd as the gatito caught hold of El Chapacio. Trap then he flew through the air with the greatest of squeeze. The brave little cat on the flying trapeze. But just as he reached the highest point, Scapito let go and dazzled the audience again with a double twirly squirrely twist onto the tightrope. But the tightrope acted just like a slingshot and flop. It sent Scapito up, up, up to the tippy top of the tent and then shoop, down, down, down he dove, cabeza, for, cabeza first into the cotton candy kitten ball cannon. Where Pussy Strongleboot, the strong dog, was waiting to light the fuse. Drum roll, por favor, or Don Diego, da -da 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 -da. then kaboom! El Scapito Frisquito, the great acrobito, blasted out of the circus, out of his closet, and right out of his room. Smack a doodle doo, shouted the kitty boy as he collided with his mama's head. Wow, exclaimed Jezebel. Where did he come from? He came from the circus, silly, said Jilly Boo. Later that night, after a piece of maple mouse pie, the kitty boy made up a rhyme just for his mama and delivered it with a most sincere bounce. Oh, I'm skipping John Jones, but you're the bee's knees because your cooking is smoking. Hey, did I just say flea, see fleas, asked mama, beginning to scratch. Circus fleas, reply, replied the kitty boy proudly. Circus be circus, mother mama. Get your colors out, kittens. It's going to be an itchy night. Girls, you haven't met my third cat. This is Kaya, the only girl, and she has a problem just like Scapito. She, when she was very young, I got her when she was eight weeks old, she was a rescue cat, and she was brought up by Siamese cats. So Skippy John Jones, a Siamese cat, thinks he's a Chihuahua. This little girl, who looks nothing like a Chihuahua or a Siamese cat, thinks she is a Siamese cat. She talks and acts just like a Siamese cat. So this is Kaya, she's about eight years old. Bye girls.